Hello YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, Want to talk about my man Zeke Castro in this video. Um, for those of you who may not know, uh, if you look up Zeke Castro uh, on YouTube, uh, it should pop up Zeke Castro and then the word boxer. Uh, go check this young man out. Uh, I can't talk highly enough about him. Uh, I've seen a lot of young guys over many, many decades. And I, I would like to think I've got to a point where I, I know very well how to spot really great stuff when it's being born uh, as well as being able to spot someone uh, that maybe doesn't possess greatness in this sport. Uh, uh, I'm not a fortune teller but I, I've got a good eye for these things uh, that is been proven time and time again over the years with the young fellas that I've watched and being able to say that guy's got it and normally when I say that if they stick with it uh, the, they always get the prize so I'll leave that at that uh, back on to Zeke Castro. I would encourage you to go subscribe to his channel. Uh, I will leave a link to the fight that I'm going to talk about that happened this weekend. It will be in the description and or and or and or uh, pinned in the comments section. Probably put it in both places uh, to the fight. And you go look at that. And again, I encourage you to uh, like, share, and subscribe on, on that. Uh, we appreciate it if you do it for, for us too. Yeah. Uh, but the, the call here is to look at this special young man. Uh, he ran up on uh, a good hurdle this weekend, uh, a difficult hurdle. And as young boxers, you're going to run up on these things. And they entered the, uh, I believe it's the Buffalo Bill contest, uh, or tournament, excuse me. And they, they couldn't find anybody to take Zeke on at 125. So, and this is where you, 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 you see the, the heart of what's going on with the boxer and with those around him. Uh, so what they did was uh, Zeke and company was like, well, you got anybody that'll take us on? And a, a much bigger guy uh, that weighed a lot more than Zeke. Zeke gave up a minimum of 10 pounds to the guy. Uh, and, and the guy was a lot taller than him. So if you go look at the fight, uh, Zeke's just been plastering everybody. And, you know, you can, you can watch a, a amateur boxer and some of these young guys, they, they, they have just what you think's all the talent in the world. Uh, but then when they run up on these hurdles, uh, they're just snapped like a toothpick. And uh, that's where you find out really what you're seeing developing, see. And, uh, and it's a good indicator of the future. As a matter of fact, it's an excellent indicator of the future. And Zeke takes on this guy and uh, a, a much bigger guy as you will see when you link to the fight and go watch it. And uh, Zeke is just quick as hell. 
I mean, this boy is fast, and this boy can hit. And uh, you see, and this was my favorite fight of his. Uh, is it the most exciting fight of his? No. But this is my favorite today because he, he run up on some adversity and he conquered it and handled it quite easily. Uh, this kid was much bigger than that he fought. Uh, this kid was very powerful. And uh, that's what I hope that folks don't miss in this. That, that kid was not only uh, much larger <clears throat> but that kid was, he could hit the other kid. And, uh, uh, Zeke, boy, he took a few hits. He did. He took a few hits. And he stuck with his style. He stuck with what he does. He stuck with his training and kept being the aggressor through it all. And, uh, handily won the fight, handily won the fight, uh, didn't get a knockout, uh, but it's kind of reminiscent for older people that were living and in, well into adulthood as I was when Mike Tyson came along, and uh, I, f I forget who it was, but somebody took Mike Tyson the distance, and uh uh, my trainer at the time, who's a very old guy, said, well, that's where you find out this boring fight here. This, this, is, this is how you know Tyson's got it. And I forget who it was that took him the distance. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it was Bo James Bonecrusher Smith, uh, uh, but it may have been someone else. It was the first one that took him the distance. And, uh, but you even saw it in the Bone Crusher Smith fight with Tyson. But in a smaller way, in a, on an amateur, in a, a, a amateur aspects, that's what we saw <coughs> with Zeke Castro this weekend. Excuse me. You know, we've been eat up with the colds and flu and stomach virus in the house here for the past week. Uh, so I apologize for all the coughing. Uh, but I really encourage you guys to go watch that fight. Excellent fight. You see how quick Zeke is. You see how aggressive he is. Uh, and the big key here is uh, sticking to his training, fighting uh, as he's trained, and nothing changing from the start to the finish. So that shows you right there uh, Zeke's heart, Zeke's capabilities. Uh, it shows you his team, which is his father, uh, Zeke Sr., and uh, Siouxland uh, Boxing. And uh, it, it just shows you everything you need. And I'm telling you, folks, I know what I see. Uh Ryan Garcia got a lot of, uh, a lot, and, and I'm not going to say it wasn't deserved because it was, but a lot of YouTube uh, and I guess Instagram and what have you, Twitter or what have you, uh, publicity uh, in his amateur days. And I'm telling you all, uh, this kid's a lot more going to be, has the, if he just sticks with it, which I know he will, uh, is going to be a lot better than Ryan Garcia. This kid is something special. And uh, how I want to put that into terms is this. Think of uh, Ryan Garcia keeping all the special things that he has in his toolbox and adding one hell of a, a slugger in the mix. And that's what you got with Zeke Castro. That's what you got. His strength is uh, 
not specifically for, uh, formulated in the speed of his punches, but he's fast as hell like that. Uh, but he hits hard. The punch is hard. Uh, it, it, it is a more heavier punch with all that speed uh, and quickness and jerkiness that can make a hard punch. Well, his, his punches are coming with all that speed and that jerk, that thing I call that thing, uh, that's, that's uh, hard to develop, extremely hard, uh, but he's got a heavier punch with that. So it's exciting. He's the most exciting uh, young prospect out there in my book. And, uh, you know, we're in Columbia, South America, and you know I promote and train my son, Joe, and... Uh, my son, Joe, is uh, just turned 15 years old, and at, at the amateur age that he's at, he'd be a full heavyweight. Uh, Zeke is tip normally uh, fighting at 125 right now, and he took on a much uh, bigger, heavier guy, and uh, kudos to him. And... Uh, that's where your tests come, and that's where you see what you got. You see what you got in hard. You see uh, how you've been trained. Uh, it just answers so many things. So if you guys go, go on the channel and look at uh, Zeke's channel, and look, you go back, he's got a playlist of a lot of the, the, the fights that he's had. And uh, I, looking back, I can't recollect that all oh, him fighting someone that big and uh and that goes to show what we do uh that uh putting a bigger guy in with a smaller guy and reversing those roles uh in sparring and the benefits that comes to that and uh, what i tell a lot of trainers today is you know, if you've got a kid at 145, uh, if you just stick him in there with kids that are 145 or thereabouts, uh, yeah, it's good and they need that uh, because that's who normally they're going to be facing in the ring uh, in competition. But uh, it's good to get uh, smaller guys in with heavier guys and it works the smaller guy and it works the heavier guy. And uh, this match that I saw was uh, just a sparring session with Zeke sparring a bigger guy. That's what I saw. I know everybody else is looking at it like uh, the tournament that it was, you know, the big tournament that it was. Uh, and it, I mean, and it is. And not taking anything away from that, but just bo boosting Zeke. Uh, me sitting here. I was like, you know, I, Joe was looking and Joe was like, dang, it's like he's just sparring with the guy, you know. Uh, it, it's And I mean that in a special way, a very special way. Uh, this kid's monumental, and what makes this kid is his dedication and his hard work. He outworks everybody. And to the rest of you young guys out there, it, it all begins with work, and it all ends with work. And he who works harder uh, wins. That's who the reward goes to. Uh, typically, 100% out of the time. That's the typicalness. So, congratulations, Zeke. Uh, sorry if I went a little back and forth on trying to... To, to explain what I'm trying to say, but well, again, <coughs> we've been eat up with severe cold flu symptoms and uh, then got a stomach virus right after we got to feeling better over that. We're still congested, uh, coming off of medicated brains here. So uh, uh, much love to you, Zeke. Much love to you, Zeke Sr., much love to Siouxland Boxing. 
Uh, you guys are the real deal. Uh, our hats are off to you gentlemen and much love to all you guys and to all our subscribers. Uh, there will be a link to the fight in the description box and or uh, pinned in the section comment section and go check Zeke out. Uh, subscribe to them because uh, every moment with this kid's exciting and, and you'll be if you go along with the ride with them, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching this video. God's blessings to all my Christian brothers and sisters, and we hope everyone has a, a very good day and a very good week this week. Thank you so much.